the time. You see these plagues as the, uh, America, where the country being plagued with, the world, coronavirus. Right. That's prophesied in the Bible too. Christ told us that pestilence gonna come, rumors of wars. So knowing the time, brother, we in the last days. Sister, you understand that? We are in the last days. We ain't got time to play. Give me, give me that real quick in um, Second Peter. Yeah, you gonna let's get to Matthew. Get to Matthew first. Matthew, then we gonna go to Second uh, Peter three and ten. I'm, I'm showing y'all the prophecy. Now you have a choice. Choose life or death. All right? Watch this. Verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. You're going to hear about wars and rumors of wars. Christ said all these things must come to pass first. Watch this. Read. But the end is not yet. Uh -huh. For nation shall rise against nation. You're going to start seeing these nations turn up against each other. You see what they did to the capital? They stormed it. They stormed their own building. You didn't really see Jake. You didn't really see our people. You had a few knuckleheads that was up there, but it was the majority of the other nations. They went in there flipping over desks, taking computers, all type of stuff. Some people got killed. So that's the rumors of wars right there. Nation gonna turn against nation. Read. For nation shall rise against nation, uh -huh. and the kingdom against kingdom, uh -huh. and they shall be famines and pestilence. They're gonna be famines. You know what a famine is? A food shortage. That's going to be food shortages. You're going to see where you're only going to be a limited to get certain items in grocery stores now. That's right. Water on sale, but you can only get a limit of two, two cases. That's going on now. You see that, read. And earthquakes. There's going to be earthquakes, read. In diverse places. Different places in the earth. California already experiencing that right now. Read. All these are the beginning of sorrow. That's just the beginning. All right, read. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. And so let you, let you know it's going to turn up on us. The other nation is going to turn on us then. They're going to start, because you see it already. You know what I mean? We get pulled over by the police. We don't have a fair shot. Well, I'm already against that. You see what I'm saying? Why, hold, hold, drop that. Give me, uh, give me 2 Peter 3 and 10. Because I'm here to tell y'all that it is high time to wake up. Stop playing games. You have to repent and be converted. Keep God's commandments. Right. We're going to show y'all some laws for y'all leave. Watch this. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2 and verse I mean, 3. 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Meaning a lot of people going to get caught off guard. So it's good that y'all stop to hit his word so y'all can know what to do moving forward. Right. I'm going to show y'all what y'all need to do to move forward. But he said, well, what's going to happen? The Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. You hear that? This place going to pass away with a great noise. What you think that great noise is? You don't know. What you think that great noise is? No. A trumpet going to blow. Oh, yeah, a trumpet going to blow. But guess what? Some missiles going to blow, too. You think these other nations got these missiles for show and tell? No, they are all ready. They sit in those silos, ready to launch those things. Read it again. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Meaning this kingdom, America, uh, France, uh, you name it, all these kings, they're going to pass away with a great noise. I'm primarily talking about America. Read and the elements shall burn with fervent heat. And the elements, what you see, the building, the light pole, telephone pole, these cars, they gonna melt away with what? With fervent heat. So you, you know it's capable of ma making something melt away with fervent heat? Missiles. You remember what happened to uh, Hir Hiroshima? I think it was 1942 or something like that? 45, 1945. They dropped that bomb, that, the atomic bomb. Not, remember? They dropped that bomb and wiped that place out. Well, guess what? The Bible is talking about the same thing that happened, but this time in America. That's right. Read. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burned up. You see that? You ain't never heard this in uh, Sunday school. You ain't never heard this in, in church, have you? They not going to teach it. They don't even know the prophecies. Right. You come to the right place, That's brother, right. sister. We're going to give y'all the prophecy. We're we giving y'all one. Let y'all know. Get y'all self together before it happened. He said they're going to come like a thief in the night. So don't get caught off guard. Read on. Seeing then the 
that all these things shall be dissolved. So, hearing and seeing what's going to happen. We tell you what's going to happen out of the Bible. Read. What manner of persons ought ye to be? What manner of persons should you be knowing that missiles going to destroy this place? Do you think you can dodge a missile? Do you think these little bunkers they got underground going to uh, help them survive the, the blast? No. Read it again. What manner? What manner of persons are ye, or ought ye to be in all holy convocations, conversations, and godliness? And godliness. We finna get into some God. Because I asked you a question. Knowing that the prophecy is that America gonna be destroyed by nuclear fire, what? how should you conduct yourself now? What should you do to avoid the destruction? Repent. There you go. Repent. We're going to show you how to repent. All right? Give me um, Acts 3 and 19 real quick. Give me Acts 3 and 19. Sister said repent. Brother, I hope you're paying attention because I'm talking to you too. All right? Acts 3 and 19. All right, you say repent. You're right. But do you know how to repent? Because some people think repent is just you uh, go to God, tell him what you did, and then that's it. There you go. Watch this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. You gotta repent and be converted. All right? But what are you going to repent from, sis? Sin. What is sin? Sin is tr transgression of God's laws. The breaking of God's laws. What's the wages of sin? Death. Death. Romans 6 and 23, right? So, do you know what manner of sin you're in right now? Because you may thinking like you may be thinking like with some stuff I did, but what sin are you in right now? So is you. What, what manner of sin are you in right now? You don't know. That's how we're gonna show you. But it's up to you. Once we show you, you gotta repent and convert. You gotta change. We're gonna see. Now let me ask you, do you love God? Yes. You love God? You know the prophecy that's coming, right? Nuclear destruction, right? Watch this. Uh -huh. But you have to make that choice. What? Jesus Christ to accept him. We're gonna talk about we're gonna touch on that. Watch this. Okay. I'm gonna show you what manner of seeing you in, you as well. Watch this. First, let's deal with one that's neutral for both of them. Give me numbers 15 and 38. Start at verse 37. Because you may be looking at us the way we dress. You see what I'm saying? This is biblical, believe it or not. Yeah. We we just read we just read in the book of Revelation how Christ dressed. Watch this. Numbers 15. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 37. Uh -huh. yeah. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. To who? To the children of Israel. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the children of Israel. We are the Israelites, according to the Bible. God, That's, right. That's right. The Lord told Moses to speak to the children of Israel. Let's see what he told them to say. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. He said, command them that they make them fringes at the border of their garments. At the bottom of their garments. Let's see how distinctive he is with it. Read. Throughout their generation. How often? Throughout their generation. So how often should we wear the fringes at the border of our garments? Which means what? Did that stop? Did that stop during the time of Moses? Or we're we supposed to keep going? Forever. As long you as long as you still reproducing on this earth, forever. As long as you you around, your children around, forever. That's right. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You see the distinction? He giving detail. You put on the border of it that ribbon of blue. That's blue. You see that? Blue. That ribbon of blue. Watch this. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember. And do what? And remember. Remember what? All the commandments. All the commandments. All right? All of them. Not just the ten, but all of them. It's more than ten. You know that, right? Teacher. Yeah, we're going to talk to him, son. Watch this. Read. Of the Lord and do them. Not just remember them, but do them. Do what it say. Read. And that ye seek not after your own heart. 
Don't, and don't, 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 don't lean to your own understanding. Well, he's, I like the way this look on me, so I'm going to wear this instead. No. He said, don't do it after your own heart, Reed. After your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring. Uh-huh. Now watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Another neutral law for both men and women. Right? Now, we just gave you the dress code how you're supposed to dress, right? All right, watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on, put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, what is that talking about? Telling you how to, how to dress and how not to dress. The Most High God said, a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. That's right. Say it again. Say it one more time. Hands. Hands. When you go to a public restroom, how do you know which restroom is for you? There you go. How do you know which one is for the man? See how simple that is? So God said, if you get caught cross-dressing, you are now considered an abomination to him. That's right. And when you're an abomination to him, your prayers ain't being answered. You don't hear, you, do, you do know God don't hear the prayers of sinners, right? You didn't know that, did you? He don't. If, when you're in the midst of sin, now you need a mediator. Because he don't hear you. When you sin, he like this. He don't want nothing to do with you. That's right. All right? Give me that real quick in Proverbs um, 28 and 9. Watch this. I'm going to prove that. Then I, want, I want the same law in John 9 and 32, I believe it is. All right? Watch this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 9. Oh. He that turns away his ears from hearing the law. Hearing the law. Women should wear that with the same man. If you ignore that law, you continue to wear pants. Watch this. Even his prayers shall be an abomination. The prayers abomination. Give me that in uh, John 9 and 32. You hear that, brother? You got you to get some fringes on the border of your garment. All right? You got to keep the Sabbath day holy. You understand? So we all the information we're giving y'all is straight out the Bible. That a fly you got in your hand is very important. Watch this. This is the book of John, chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. See that? God don't hear sinners. That's right. Sin. What is sin? Transgression of God's laws. When you breaking the commandments, that's no. sin. When you in sin, he don't hear you at all. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will. And what? And doeth his will. And do the commandments, read. Him he heareth. Then he start to hear you. So now you see why you got to repent? Because as long as you got them pants on, you can roll around on the floor, jump up and down. Whatever you, you think you're doing, praise God. He not hearing that. That's right. He not even hearing you. You know. Read it one more time from the top. Now we now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, uh -huh. him he heareth. Then he'll hear you. You understand? Go back to uh, Proverbs 28. Give me verse uh, 19. Watch this. So ain't no way around it. If you want to avoid that nuclear destruction, you better repent, keep the commandments. Watch this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, and verse 13. He that covers his sin shall not prosper. You see that? He that covers his sin, you're not going to make it. You're just not going to make it. You're going to get put to death. Read. But whoso confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So whoso confesses it and forsaketh, meaning stop sinning. You confess your faults, your, your sins, and stop doing it. That's right. Go to the most high. Lord, I've been wearing pants for umpteen years. I repent of this thing. I'm wearing a dress from now on with fringes on it and a border of blue. Lord, I ain't been wearing fringes. I never knew what it was. I never wore them. All right? Start wearing them. Now you can start to hear from you. All right? Watch this. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Hello. In like manner also. What? In like manner also. In like manner also, meaning just like our just like what? That the woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. So in like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. 
just in like manner also means just like our foremother Sarah, Rebecca, all right, Judith, Naomi, just like they conduct themselves, you're supposed to conduct yourself the same way. Peace. Adorn yourself in modest apparel. Read it again. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel? Let me ask you, what is what is modest? What is modesty? Bring it out. There, there you go. Say it again, brother. Covering up your, your body. Covering up your body. What is immodest? Not covering up. If I can see the shape of your silhouette, that means you ain't covered up. A lot of times, today these women are wearing underwear outside. Believe it or not, those are underwear. I'm not here to put you on the spot, but I'm just letting you know, sis. In like manner also, you're supposed to con uh, conduct yourself like our foremothers. Bring it out. You understand? Read it. Read on. With shame faceness. Humility, shame face, humble meekness. Read. And sobriety. And sober. A lot of our women can't teach the young women nothing because they not sober. That's right. All right? It's, it's nothing wrong with having a drink. But you got to know how to drink in moderation. Yeah. You got to know your limit. It says be sober. Read. Not with braided hair uh -huh. or gold or pearls or costly array. Meaning. You can wear, you can have high braided hair, you can have on nice apparel gold, but don't let that be, don't let that uh, make up who you are. All right, read on. But with becometh, becometh woman professing godliness. Professing godliness, keeping the commandments, sister. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.